Hi everyone, welcome back to Chem Help ASAP. In this video, we are going to discuss the difference between matter, mass, and weight. You will want a calculator for this video. Let's get started. Before we jump into calculations, let's get good working definitions of matter, mass, and weight. So matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Something may have a large amount of matter or a very small amount of matter. But as long as it occupies space and has mass, it contains matter. Mass is defined as the amount of matter contained in an object. Mass is a way to measure the amount of matter. Now, weight is a measure of how a force acts upon mass. This is most commonly measured in newtons or pounds. There is then a mathematical relationship between weight and mass. Here it is right here. Weight is simply the mass of an object times the gravity acting upon that object. We often abbreviate this as W equals M times G. Before we put numbers in, I want to be really careful about units. Your mass must be measured in kilograms and your gravity must be measured in meters per second squared. This will give us newtons as our final unit. Let's do a problem. The gravity of an unknown planet is 12.11 meters per second squared. What is the weight of a person if their mass is 90 kilograms? The first thing I want to check are my units. My gravity was given to me in meters per second squared, that matches, and my mass was given in kilogram, which also matches. Plugging our numbers in, we are simply going to take 90 and multiply it by our 12.11. Our final answer is 1,090 newtons. This next problem reads, the weight of an earth mover is 1.14 times 10 to the 8 newtons. What is the mass of the earth mover in grams? The gravity of earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. Let's check units. My weight is given in newtons. That's great. My gravity is given in meters per second squared. That also fits. However, I have a small wrinkle. I want the mass in grams. When I plug my numbers in, newtons is going to give me kilograms. So I'm just going to tuck away in the back of my mind that I will have a second step to this problem. But first, let's use our equation and calculate our mass. Here's our equation. Plugging in our value for weight and our gravity, we are going to solve for mass. And that mass is 1.16 times 10 to the 7th kilograms. Now remember, our problem asks for grams, so we are not quite finished yet. We need to convert kilograms into grams. Remembering that the prefix kilo is a thousand, here is my conversion factor. Kilograms cancels, I'm left with grams. My final answer is 1.16 times 10 to the 10th grams. I hope this video offered some clarification between matter, mass, and weight. Thanks so much for watching.